In this video, we'll be looking at North Las Americas. Well, it's the area that I've designated as being North Las Americas. Anyway, I did a video on what I designated as being South Las Americas recently. I'll leave a link to that in the description below the video. We'll be starting off from where we left off in the South Las Americas video. And we'll be going up to the San Eugenio border where we'll be um, at the Bougainvillea Hotel. And then back down to the Magma Center and through to the police station and back down again. So let's have a look around. This is the area that I've designated as being North Las Americas. So we're going really from the two towers, Torres del Sol, up to Garden City, that sort of area up there. So this is the area that we stopped at last time. You can see the uh, towers down there. This is the area where there are some residential villas. I think there's probably about 15 or 20. A lot of them are detached. Um, really nice position and uh, really, really close to the beach there as well. Seconds away from the surfing beach there. The majority of the northern part of Las Americas is going to be hotels. There are some residential complexes, as we'll find out as we go along. Now this complex here is called Las Piteras. It's um, probably a mixture of both actually, um, residential and holiday letting. And uh, obviously an ideal situation just across the road and down to the beach. And uh, you've got Vivo Mini Golf and Treasure Island on the junction there. Now these are the two towers. These are the um, Torres del Sol towers. And right next door to that, you've got Playa Azul. So here are the towers here, right in the center of Las Americas. Next door, you've got the Hotel Gala. And there's Playa Azul up there, opposite the Vanilla Gardens. Plenty of restaurants and things to do in this area. So just next door to Hotel Gala, you've got this nice little shopping area. You've got um, McDonald's, there's um, Foot Locker. They've got an Adidas store there. And just across the road, you've got the famous Veronica's Strip. So this is where a lot of the nightclubs and the bars are. And then you've got the very popular Papagayo Beach Club there at the end. But everything is so close to the beach. Got a great um, promenade walking along here, going up past uh, Playa, uh, Playa Troya. And here's the beach here, nice sandy beach. And the Hotel Troyer just across the road. Um, this is a complex called Caribe. They do do holiday rentals in there, but there are plenty of uh, people that have their own uh, holiday apartments there as well. Now around this area, a lot of the road names have um, South American country names. So you've got Argentina, Venezuela, and Cuba. And this area is quite residential. There are going to be apartments that are um, rented out to holiday makers. It is quite residential in this area. You've got the hotel here on the left-hand side, Palm Beach. Um, I think that's timeshare actually. So probably nothing much to buy in there for your own personal use, but a great area to be because we've got Monkey Beach just down there as well. If you haven't been there, that's worth going right on the beach there and fantastic sunsets while you're sipping your gin and tonic and listening to some great music. Now we're just up the road now from the Monkey Beach Bar and um, there are some more residential villas here on the uh, other side of the road. And again, plenty of commercial premises um, on the beach side. So uh, bars and shops and uh, things like that. And we can see down here, we've got more hotels. So we've got the Villa Mar, you've got the um, Bougainvillea Hotel there up in the distance, which we'll see a bit later on in the video. And from here, an easy walk straight down the walkway down to uh, Playa del Bobo. And around this area, this is just where those villas were and many, many more residential, as I say, plenty of um, plenty of apartments here with VV licenses, I'm certain. But um, yeah, so you're going to have your holiday people in there as well. But if you want to uh, buy something there yourself, probably a great place for a holiday home around this area. So you've got Bung America and Apart America here, which are mainly duplex apartments. As I say, it's a residential type area and there's these sort of park areas and have a listen. Like you, you wouldn't even believe you're in the center of Las Americas. So in, in the area of Caven as well, you've got a number of different complexes. You've got Olympia, Borenquen, Ponderosa, Copacabana, 
Ocean View, Andalusia. And a lot of these are apart hotels, but you can buy a property in there and have it as your own holiday home. And um, some of them allow you to rent out uh, on a commercial type basis, but you need to speak with the management first just to make sure um, what, whether they allow you to do it yourselves or whether they want it done through their own company on site. And then just down the road, you've got Gran Tenerife, another hotel right on the seafront, which then leads round to um, Pueblo Canario. So you've got Pueblo Canario here. Again, nice wide walkway down to the beach. You can see the beach down there. Lovely down there on that beach. Plenty of bars, plenty of restaurants. Fantastic place to spend a day. And then you've got the Villa Mar up there and then you can see the Bourbonvillea Hotel in the background. And there you can see pretty much the whole of Las Americas as well, certainly on the seafront there anyway. So this is just on the outskirts now of Pueblo Canario. And then leads us up to the Bourbonvillea Hotel and Las Flores. Las Flores again, um, mainly residential, um, fantastic place to live there, right in the centre. You've got the San Eugenio shopping centre, three or four minute walk along the road there. So this is actually the Las Flores bungalows looking out onto the road now. And then across the road there, you've got some bars, restaurants, and you also got Garden City as well. Garden City is a holiday destination. Um, plenty going on there. Again, Garden City, ideally situated. Um, brilliant place if you wanted a, um, a holiday apartment there for yourself. I think they've got a license there as well, so you can actually um, do your holiday letting there, but it all depends on uh, on the management. So just confirm with them what they do and don't allow. So this is where we are now on the map. We're just passing the bus station. This is the Las Americas bus station. And then just here, you've got the Magma Center. And this is that funny shaped building you've possibly seen if you're driving on the motorway. Um, Famously Elton John and also Rod Stewart have had their after concert parties there. Whether that's true or not, I really don't know. Um, now we're in the area of the um, uh, the National Police Station and uh, that's the building that's um, here, which is, uh, I like to call it rhubarb and custard colour myself. So that's the, the National Police Station. And at the bottom of the roundabout there, you've got another few complexes here. And again, a large hotel. So going from that roundabout up there, you've got Altamar, you've got the Hotel Oro Negro and Las Floritas here as well. So we're just coming up now to the border where I designated the South Las Americas area to be. And then turning right at that roundabout down to Los Tajanastes there and uh, walking down towards the beach, you've got the new Alegria Barranco there, which uh, during 2020 has been totally, totally refurbished. And then the next complex down is called Paraiso Royal. Uh, that's a large complex. Um, some nice houses in there. It's a mixture of villas and apartments. And again, just across the road from the beach. And that's where we actually started our video from. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.